Hello, I'm showing the Base Qi adapter for the Surface Book 2. Um, this is a Surface Book 3 and I'm just going to show that this uh, also works with the Surface Book 3. And uh, this sort of adapter is the only choice really to uh, um, increase the storage on the Surface Book 3. So um, this is the, the packaging, as you can see. Uh, it just comes with the adapter. It's uh, quite expensive, costs about 27 euros here in Germany, so um, for a simple micro SD adapter that's quite expensive. But I'm just going to show you how this works because this is pretty much the only choice to expand the storage on a Surface Book. Um, the, the device itself is completely glued together so you have no choice but to buy the uh, storage that you need and uh, Microsoft charges quite a lot of money uh, for extra storage so this is a kind of cheap way to make uh, to get more storage um, for example this is a 256 gig 15 inch version of the Surface Book 3 uh, so basically you'd want some more storage and um, although an SD card uh, is not exactly the fastest storage I mean it's about uh, 10 to 30 times slower than a modern SSD but uh, for internal storage just for, for photos and the like it's quite good so for this example I'm just going to install a 500 gig SanDisk micro SD into the adapter and I'll just show you that this should work so as far as design is concerned the Surface Book 3 is pretty much identical to the Surface Book 2. Just one thing to mention is that the adapter, there are two versions of the adapter, uh, one for the 15 inch Surface Book 2 and one for the 13.5, so you want to make sure that you get the right version. In this case, uh, I have the adapter for the 15 inch. So, I don't know if you can see that, but here on the side of the package it does say this is specifically for the 15 inch version, so uh, make sure you get the right one, otherwise it might not fit. As far as the adapter itself is concerned, it's pretty much just a cheap plastic adapter uh, with a little bit of uh, aluminium here on the side, just to make it look better when it's inside the device. So I'm just going to install a 512 gig uh, SanDisk microSD right here. You just put it in like so. It's a bit tight, but um, yeah, so. You just have to make sure that it sits flush with the side of the adapter and then you just install it in the surface book like so it's a bit difficult on camera but like oh, there we go like so and it goes right all the way right all the way in and sits pretty much flush with the side of the computer so as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. I think, as far as I know, uh, the manufacturing tolerances on these are not great, so some of them fit pretty well, and uh, some of them stick out a little bit, but it's all right. And it's been recognized straight away. Um, I'll just show you guys that. This is indeed Showing up right here, if we go to properties, you can see here 476 gigabytes available, um, that's pretty normal on a, a SD card advertises 512 gigs, so it works pretty much as you'd expect. As far as speeds go, like I said, this is going to be nothing like the internal SSD, it's going to be pretty slow, but as a kind of cheap and dirty solution to getting some uh, storage, um, kind of internal storage on the Surface Book, it's a pretty good option because um, otherwise you have to pay for the upgrade from Microsoft and they charge about, as far as I can remember, about 200 euros for the next, for the 512 gig version. So um, it's a pretty good option. The only issue is, of course, um, when you disconnect when you disconnect uh, the base of the Surface Book, um, you're going to lose your your SD card connectivity. So you can't use this while the tablet is undocked. So 
basically it just works in laptop mode but other than that it's a pretty good option um, a 512 gig SSD costs about 80 euros so about 80 or 90 dollars at the moment so compared to Microsoft that's a, a pretty good deal I will leave the links for the 13 inch and 15 inch versions of the adapter on Amazon in the video description so thanks for watching and goodbye